Ladies and gentlemen, of course, I look at bigger reasons of being a welcome to an episode of the Cooperative. We're starting to play a whole new game, A Hundred Fires, The Rising of the Red Star, a Metal Gear inspired game. Stop! Jesus. Why do they always applause? I don't know why. I feel like that almost my crowd base or my fan base is all Metal Gear fans. Anyway, so we are playing, uh, okay, I think I fucked up. Hang on. Press space. There we go. So we're playing a new game. Okay, so I was trying to get my controller to work. Playing Hunter Fires. Um, I played the. Uh, if you guys remember, I played the Android versions of these games. They were like the. Um, the the like the like the beginning stories, and this is pretty much like the sequel to it. And uh, the person that created it put it on a um, what's that? Um, Steam. Put it on Steam. So I got it and everything. So I'm gonna have fun playing with this and get my Metal Gear fix. Hang on, let me just uh. There we go. Let's get my veins ready. We could also do Save Santa, but Christmas is over, unfortunately. So I'm going to do a new game. There we go. So starting a new game, we'll delete the previous game. Okay, uh, this game is fiction and only... Yes, we know. Basically, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, if anyone resembles these people, it's purely coincidental, and it's not out of sure spitement or... Um, what's the other word? <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> it was anyway. 1954 in Cuba. Our guerrilla camp was near La Sierra del Zorro. Through women, children, farmers, and workers who fought for the revolution. My wife, Yemi Elise, had been ill for months. So this is obviously not the continuation. This this part of it did not give us any solution. Aren't you a doctor? Why not help her? <laughs> so medical resources are reserved for those who are wield weapons besides you and your wife won't uh, live much longer beyond tonight. It, wow. But I knew he was lying. So could recover. But certainly not in Cuba. Yeah, um God damn it. Batista's army attacked our camp. The entire jungle was engulfed in flames. <laughs> Escape from here. I have a friend who is waiting for us at the port. If we manage to arrive, he will take us out of Cuba, and we can find someone to help you. What about Marchetti? She is coming with us. Okay, so as I was trying to say before, I don't think um, I can't remember his name. David David Ramon Hernandez. I forgot the name. Fernandez. I forgot his actual name, but um, so I apologize. I don't think he had the fundings. Well, I don't think he actually had any... Don't leave us alone. I don't think he had any fundings at all whatsoever. So I don't think he actually had the money. We cannot go through here. It looks like we need to find another way. Then we need to find... Wait. Am I punching them? Like I'm running into you. Fuck you. Oh, whatever. Wait, can I... Wait. Wait, hang on. Let's see if I can just... Ah, whatever. Just fuck up the little girl. Why not? Um... Yeah, I don't think this guy has any any funding at all whatsoever. So he does his best to do what he has. So he only does like the the only. Okay, he's on fire. Well, it looks like a personal problem. He um probably only had like one person who just was was only able to do the voice of. I'm so tired. I cannot walk. I forgot what his name was. I have no choice. I will. Okay. W w um. Okay. Wait, I can still roll with her on my back. So he only had one person to do the voice of the main character while everybody else is in Spanish. My guess. Watch out, Batista's soldiers are still around. We cannot let them see us. Can I beat them up? Can I crack their neck? Can I do something? Oh, I can. Okay. Alright, so I can still break their necks. With a girl attached to my back. I'm sorry, a woman attached to my back. I didn't mean to do that. Like, I meant to, like, break his neck, but apparently that might have worked. I mean, hang on. And that's impressive. He's able to do a spinning back kick while with a woman behind him. Jesus. There you go. 
trying to... Alright, let me see if we can do it in this guy now. Hey, hey, how are you? Nope. We gotta beat him up. Pretty sure I was, I, was, I was gonna about to say I'm pretty sure I was beating up the little girl as well, so I apologize. I don't condone in that. Okay, good. He's knocked out. Do I? Oh wait, no. The boat. Gotta go to the boat. Boat, boat, boat. Water. Uh, roll, lady. Uh, this way. I think. I don't know. I never. I didn't play this. I never played this game, so I know nothing. Of, whoops. Wait. Can I? So I'm prone up against the wall with. Grinding, I'm grinding her against the wall. Oh boy. I guess I go, yeah, I was gonna say, I guess I go in this boat. Yeah, the, Nellies, we've arrived. We achieved it. We achieved it when it says we did it. Oh, I thought you would have not arrived in time. Come on, I'll get this thing going. So, I don't know if this part of the story is actually a continuation from the original games. Well, I mean, there was only one game. It was just three episodes, so I'm just going to go with that. But it was also part of the same story. Can Ellie's resist? Don't die. Oh, that was very upsetting. Can Ellie's. Ellie's. Can Ellie's! Yeah, they really need to make go very salt snake. Betrayed the revolution and turned my back on Cuba. A short time later... The army revealed they achieved recovery, and finally won. But I would never return. Until many years later. Wh okay, so many years later, I'm assuming is the Rising Star. Either many years later meaning is the Rising Star, or from the previous game that we played on the Android. I could be sorely mistaken, though. I have no idea. Ah. Uh. So they're trying to be very, uh, yeah, David Aman Fernandez, that's it. So I, I mean, he's definitely a major fan of Metal Gear Solid, and, uh, you know, props to him for making a game like this. I mean, it's definitely very, in okay, that's definitely um, the, uh, the Death Stranding with that little backpack he's got. But this... Good afternoon. This climate must be hard for a Cuban. How do you know that I'm Cuban? We know well who you are, Senor Montenegro. A hero of the Cuban Revolution with more than a hundred sabotages there you go. behind him. You deserted two years after the triumph of the revolution to later yep, this is the first game. Brigade in the assault on the Bay of Pigs. With uh, Mr. No Mouth and No Jaw. You became involved in the Cienfuegos case, where a nuclear device was allegedly detonated. This was a good game on the Android. The incident, and in the area, there is the yeah, there he is, Mr. No Mouth. fires appeared in the sky. Of course, all of this is baseless gossip, and we know well what actually happened. Is this possible? The President of the United States? How can you be here? That's because I'm not really here. Hmm. Hologram. A hologram. That's right. Hmm. But this is not all, Mr. Montenegro. We also know that you have Fucking a daughter freaky. in the United States. And if you want to see her alive again... You'd better do everything we tell you. That's ah, fucked up, dude. Come on. <laughs> was JFK this much of a dick? But he was definitely trying to be very um, nostalgic for the uh, Metal Gear Solid. Like, the first game that he did was supposed to be Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Assault Snake. And this game's supposed to be Metal Gear Solid when he is retired and he goes to Alaska and retreats and, you know, do, does that whole Alaskan bullshit and everything. I was a dog musher. And I was like, I was like now I'm a wood chopper. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell, what, what, what we're doing, but where, where we are. But I'm assuming it's the same <coughs> concept. The fact that we're like, oh, we. Uh, okay, so now we're going we're going back to Cuba, and it's 1962. So that's uh, 1950. It was 1955, if I'm not mistaken, the first game. So it's uh, seven years. So it's supposed to be seven years after the first game. Interesting. Seven years going back to Cuba. Uh, my snake voice, I haven't improved in a long time. I'm not even supposed to be snake, it's supposed to be Montenegro. So he's supposed to be having a Spanish accent. He didn't speak English in the first game, I don't think. 
I don't remember. I remember the whole entire game being all in Spanish. Well, that's the voice of... That's that's the voice. Of this guy. <laughs> oh, boy. And the fucking hologram. Of John F. Kennedy by Benjamin Kramer. Stop kidding me. And don't touch my balls. What the fuck? Here? They will see you. You are not familiar with the technology of visual telecom. Everybody in capitalist countries use it. But uh, don't worry, I'll change the format. How is it possible that you're in front of me? Now it's like, if I could see you in my mind. The fuck? How is a little monkey communist going to be able to. The fuck? Why is he calling me a monkey? I feel like that's, ra that's racist right there. Gringo bastard. Tell me, Mr. Montenegro, do you know the acronym MGS? Metal Gear Solid. Uh, they are the abbreviations of Mejor Garda Silencio. Or, in other words, shut up! The fuck? In recent days, our spy planes have reported the arrival of nuclear weapons on the island of Cuba. Our spies have also informed us that a certain Japanese developer will visit Cuba in the next few days. Mr. Hideo Kojima. What Japanese developer? It's Hideo Kojima. One of I wouldn't be surprised. One of the most influential Japanese developers in recent times. You know who I mean. Of course we are talking about... Nuclear weapons. Yes, this Japanese developer will arrive at the port of La Serpiente Floja tonight. Your mission has a single objective. To assassinate the Japanese developer. Oh, damn. The life of your daughter in exchange for that of a nuclear weapons developer. Sounds like a fair deal, right? I have no choice. I will. One last mission, and you will have helped make up for the sins you committed by joining the ranks of that stupid primate revolution. The fuck, man? <sighs> what do you want? Oops. I don't know what you button that was. The crawl button. Yeah, I, I, I figured. That's not the button. Okay, I might have. Oh, there you go. I was gonna say I might have fucked up. Oh, there's a pistol right there. I can use that pistol and actually kill everyone that I come across. Let me see if I can just take this guy out without. Oh, damn it! No. Nope. What do you want? You got a gun. It's a special pistol with two positions: kill and sleep. How does you can that work? choose the position you need by equipping the weapon in the selection menu. When you have the weapon equipped, aim using the first person button. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Wait, is he? He's not down. Okay, that's enough. I think. Alright, so how do I... Nope. 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 Okay, I fucked up. Okay, these can this controller does not work. There we go. Alright, so I think I got it. Alright, so the, apparently the gun is suppressed and also non-lethal. Which I don't know how that works, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to question too too much, but it is what it is, I guess, right? Let me see if I can get him. That was a nice shot. Good. It's a little tricky because the controls are very like um. What's the word? Like I don't want to say anything bad, but the but ah, there's no other way of putting it. The controls are very clunky. Like it's definitely the the uh, you know uh, David Oma that David obviously is more experienced. Uh, making games on the Android, but even those are still very clunky. Whoops! God damn it! There must be a weapon storehouse somewhere, but it's isolated in an area full of anti-personnel mines. If we had a way to detect those mines. Um. Okay. There must be a weapon store. Okay. So I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm, I'm trying not to question it. Because, I mean, look, I'm not a game creator, and I know it's fucking, probably fucking difficult creating a game, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to question it. Uh, hang on, how do, I, how do I get that? I want to... 
Oh, I have, oh, got a box. Well, let me equip that just in case, because I don't want to run into battle and all of a sudden I'm, like, dying for no reason at all whatsoever. Fucking crouch, dude. Jesus. Crawling my ass through boxes. The crawling... Wait. What, what, I was spotted? Wait, why was I spotted? I didn't realize I was spotted. I, I apologize. I mean, what happened? This is all news to me. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, cool. Yeah, well, this is a thing. I legit have no idea what the fuck's going on. A box is missing to complete the delivery. Uh, yes, sir. Now I know what to do. I'm gonna sneak right up in there and put my ass in a box. Did you hear that? You have a box in your inventory. You can disguise yourself as a box and get in the truck. The soldiers will mistake you for a load and transport you to another place. Not a bad idea. I'm not liking the fact that they're like all over the fucking place looking for me for no reason at all because I'm again I don't know they said enemy spotted I'm like how do they spot me where do they spot me who what where when why how I need all information and their fucking eye level is not up to par so like I don't see how they can ah boy I'm trying to get like headshots because I know like this yeah see because if I don't get a headshot, they're not gonna they're not gonna go down. And they'll get like alerted, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Alright, let me try to shimmy my ass through here. I'm gonna have to end this episode soon. I only was playing a little bit longer because of the first episode. Alright, let me see if I can just Nope. It's very weird the controls. Oh shit. No. Nope. Okay, I guess I gotta hang on. Why can't I get equipped the box? There we go. I'm gonna be a box for Halloween. That's a cool song. In the background. I can barely hear it. We can go now. I didn't load it up. Oh, whatever, I'm gonna be fucking lazy anyway. I don't wanna load it up. Alright, so I'm gonna have to definitely end it right here. We're like, I don't even know how much of this game we're actually through. I've never played it. Like I said, never played. Oh, hello. Did you hear that? You have a box in your inventory. Ugh. I, I meant to pause the game. There you go. So next time, yeah, I'm doing this all on like on the controller, and the control's not great, but whatever. So next time in the cooperators, we're gonna, we're gonna continue with some more Metal Gear Solid Inspiration game, Hundred Fires. We'll see you next time. We're gonna be rich from the stars tonight